Yeah. What? Nothing. <laughs> okay. You got the answer? Maybe. Maybe? All right. Let's have a look. So the first one, uh, the K is... Okay, the first one, the K is 5 and the F is 20. So for number 1, the K is 5 and the F is 20. So then delta x, f equals k delta x. So delta x is f over k, which is 20 over 5, which is 4 meters. Did you get that? Yeah. For the first one? Yeah. Yep. Number 2. Uh, what is the k if 1 kilogram extends by 2 centimeters? 2 centimeters? What? No, no. Something funny? No, no. What? What? Nothing. No, no. Must be dirty, so. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, F equals W. So K delta X equals MG. So that means K equals MG over delta X, which is 1 times 9.81 over uh, 0 0.02. Two, which is a pretty big number. What did you get? Four ninety point five. Four ninety point five. Yeah. Okay. Mir, yeah, what are you doing? Come on. What's wrong? Everything is half nine I'd like to throw that in. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Three. Uh, what's happening here? K is 10. The weight from the spring and... Okay, so what's the work done? Mm -hmm. So you have the spring here. And you put the weight on it. Uh, what did I say the weight was? 3, was it? Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. We don't know it. We just know the K and the distance. The K is 10. Yeah? Mm -hmm. And the distance it compresses? Mm -hmm. We don't have to worry about that. Uh, so what's the work done? Well, yeah, you could say the work is a half k delta x squared. So that is uh, a half 10 0 0.03 squared. That's 5 times whatever that is, 3 over 100 squared. Um, so what's that? 45 over 10,000? Uh, 0.0045, was it? Which is 4.5 uh, millijoules. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now number four, yeah. <laughs> what? What's that? Okay. Well, number four <laughs> wasn't that easy now. Uh, just before we started, remember we had our graph F and delta X. Yeah. Now, when you put this, uh, there's the car spring. Okay. So at the very beginning, before there's a car, the spring is at its natural length. And then when you put the car on top of the spring in the factory, what happens? The spring compresses, of course. So uh, at the very beginning, there's no force on it and no extension. And then you put the big heavy car on it, so you have some extension. And then the weight is the force here. So this is the the 2000 uh, 2000 g, for example. So I'll just write here. This is the car, and then this is uh, the first part of the graph. Then the four people get into the car. What happens? There's more extension, and then there's more uh, force. So this is the graph here. 
The K, remember, is the slope. Yes? Which is the difference, the difference in the force divided by the <coughs> difference in the extension. So, as you were saying, it's a red herring, the 2000. I didn't care about it. I only care about the difference in the force over the difference in the extension. So what is the difference in the force? Well, it's the four extra people. However, I tried to trick you a little bit. There's four extra people, but there's four springs. I said that in the question. So it's only one sixty-five. So you only do it 65 per spring. Because there's four people and four springs. So you divide four people into four springs. So it's 165 per one spring. So did you did you, did you just multiply by four? Yeah. yeah. See? We uh, should divide by four. Or no. No. So what? So it's just yeah, it's just one spring, and there's a 65 on top of it, and it depresses 1.5 centimeters, and we use the same formula F equals W. Can you K delta X. Maybe. K delta X equals mg, K equals mg over delta X, 65 times 9.81 divided by 0 0.015. You have to divide your answer by 4, because you probably had 4 here, did you? No, that's for the next part. Yeah, for this part, getting the K. Uh, so, 42,510 newtons per meter is the K. So, when the people get out of the car, the car wobbles a bit. The time is 2 pi root um, M over K, which is 2 pi root 65 over 42510, which equals... For the time, yes. yep. Because um, what's happening is the fours cancel above and below in your fraction. This answer here is going to be four times too big because you used four masses. Yes, 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 yes. But this answer here is also four times too big. So in the formula, it didn't affect the answer. Oh, so what the correct? Well, like the Um. As long as the question didn't ask for the K, if the question only asked for the T, then you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. But it's likely that the question will be broken into two halves. Yeah. So, um, two pi root sixty-five over four two <coughs> five one zero. Oh. Uh, point two four <coughs> six seconds. Now time for the one you've been waiting for, number five. So did you get answers? Yeah. Did you all get the same answer? We did it together, baby. So this is the collective intelligence of the class <laughs> working together. Let's see what we get. Uh, so you have a wedge and the height of the wedge is 4.905 meters. There's a, uh, a mass placed on the top of 2 kilograms. and it falls down the wedge and it hits a spring and what will happen is of course the spring will dep compress a distance delta x and you're told that the spring constant is 20 kilo newtons per meter okay 
Right, so what was your idea here? My idea? Okay, we'll go with you first. What was your idea? First, I thought that we can get the like this distance. How? <laughs> okay, give me your ideas that you actually use to try and solve it. The hint, yeah. 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 Okay, so first you got potential energy, which is MGH, which is two nine point eight one four point nine oh five. What's it? Ninety six point two three six one joules. That's work. That's work. Well, kind of, yeah, it's the energy in the block at the beginning. So that's what we use the formula. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so the energy that's here, stored as potential energy, uh, is what does the work to compress the spring. So you have 96.2361 equals a half K delta X squared. So Two times ninety six point is this what you did or something different? Yeah. Two three six one uh, divide by k twenty thousand and take the square root. That's equal to delta x. Two times what was it nine point uh, ninety six point two three six one? Yes, divided by twenty. What k? Twenty thousand. Yeah. Because I tell you it's twenty thousand. Nine point eight one centimeters or ninety eight point one millimeters. Yeah, yeah. We are we are a unit off. Yeah. How are you a unit off? Well, okay, so we we didn't even have k delta x squared, but we used to have oh yeah f of of delta x, and we made f equal to mg. So we cancelled mg on this side. Mg we used the area with mgh. Ah uh, yes. That that got us nine point eight one because it's half. Oh you oh sorry let me see. So you said at the beginning um mgh mgh equals uh, half mgh. Mg, yeah, yeah. Mg, mg. A half mg. Yeah. F is the weight, so it's half mg. Delta x. Delta x. Half mg. Delta x. Yes. We cancel the mg with the mg. So delta half delta x equals h. So two delta x. Uh, yeah. Two h. Two, two h, h equals delta x. And that's nine point eight. Get it? Okay. Uh, no, that is 9.81, but I'm sorry to tell you that that way is wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the reason, now, your idea was great, but the reason it's wrong, not, not that it's wrong, this method actually works. The mistake here is saying that the force is mg. It's not, because... Where's my picture gone? The force is not mg, but it's mg cos. Not what you did was the block well, falling yeah. straight on the spring, mm -hmm. and if that was my question, that'd be exactly right, because the force here would be the weight of the block. However, it's at an angle. Mm -hmm. You don't know how much of the weight is actually going into the spring. It'd be you know it'd be like mg cos theta. Sadly, you're right. No, I'm sorry. Not sadly. And <laughs> unfortunately, yeah. your idea was very good, but uh, for this particular one, where you don't know the angle, you can't use that method. Because uh, Adnan was saying, "Well, don't you know this distance here? You don't, because if I gave you the angle, you could know this distance." And then you could use this method here. You have to use the energy uh, here. So you almost got it. Um, you got uh, you were, you got nine nine point eight one meters. Mm -hmm. A bit different to uh, ninety eight millimeters, but a good try, anyways. Um, 
And the reason I ask this question is because it's the type of question that you would see in uh, section B of the exam. Because it's not as straightforward as the other questions, which could be section A. It requires sort of more thinking about, which is why it means section B. Um, they, I suppose if I want to give you a little hint, here's the hint for you. If, if things like angles are missing and lengths are missing and you feel like you need them, then the hint is you probably need conservation of energy. So because I didn't give you these angles and only gave you the height, that's kind of like the hint in your brain to think, oh, so this is kind of maybe a conservation of energy. Yeah. Um, let me see your method again. Where is it? Where is it? Right here. MGH, that's the potential energy equals the work done, which is a half F delta X. Uh, so the problem is with the F just, yes. You need to have in it like a cos theta or sine theta, which you don't actually know. Uh, right, let's see. We've got a couple of minutes left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 like, because I didn't really me yeah, me too, actually. I didn't have lunch. But that's not true. I had a cappuccino for lunch. I probably should have my pot noodles. Okay. Um, let me just collect those lab reports off you. Right. Thank you. You have the book as well. <laughs> uh, so this is yours. Got your name on both. And then... Uh, yeah. This is your, that's your, yeah. and I need the lab book off of you still. Uh, it's the, the lab book is on Moodle, yes? Yeah, yeah, you can reprint it. <laughs> the lab book is with it as well. Yeah. So I'll just put that there. And yours? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you have his. <coughs> it feels a bit light, doesn't it? No, 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 I thought I can. Let's see what 2 a.m. work looks like. <laughs> or is it 3 a.m.? <laughs> it's like... Oh my goodness, the diagram's tiny. Yeah. It's a good diagram. It is, but it's small. Look at the size of it. You have all this space to enlarge it. Yeah, maybe when I pull it, it looks like two bit. Okay. 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 Right. So I have a uh, my plate <coughs> for your two lab books then. Okay. Actually, I have a plan here, so I I'll, I'll use this here. <coughs> 